Hi, I'm Eleanor and I took part in That Was Our Summer Teaching Program, planned and perfectly delivered by Kissing It Better. It was composed of six sessions, each tackling many issues an older person may face and which can be exasperated by health issues. The modules tackled everything from volunteering, surrounding, hygiene, nutrition, long-term care and so much more. But I wanted to acknowledge the deeper meaning behind these. The first ones being the right to choose and pride in your appearance. These are often taken for granted. Whether you're in a care home or hospital, the ability to choose the activities you take part in or where you want to sit are all very important to older people. This gives them a sense of freedom and independence over their life. If you're a patient with limited mobility and a nurse tells you you're receiving visitors, having your bed adjusted to sit upright and wearing comfortable clothes so you can feel presentable and ready for visitors are small actions but have a big impact. As a relative, it would also be helpful to bring comfortable clothes. Both examples can positively affect their self-esteem. It all lies in the options they are afforded. Secondly, I took note of loneliness. Too many times, older people can feel secluded from the outside world. They may feel like the world is moving without them. Making sure we keep in contact with our older relatives, starting a small conversation with an older person in our neighbourhood, or just simply during our volunteering hours. These are all actions we can take that can fit our schedules. Providing a TV also helps them stay updated with what is going on in the world. We're all social beings, so being able to interact with others is so important for our mental health. The last one is adaptability and patience. Going on holiday during the summer is something we all love to do. However, this can be a bit more difficult for an older person to enjoy. They often get dehydrated, especially in hot weather. One reason being a fear of drinking water, they're not finding a toilet on time, especially as our bladders get weaker as we age. Dehydration can lead to confusion and fatigue. Or if you're traveling with a relative with dementia, it can be especially challenging. You will need to keep an eye on them as they are very prone to wandering off due to their confusion which causes agitation. Being empathetic and compassionate to their needs can make their holidays a lot more enjoyable. The biggest takeaway from the program is that our basic needs and rights do not change. Our needs for dignity, privacy and communication is ever present regardless of age or setting you are placed in. Before I end, I'd like to say a big thank you to Kissing It Better for delivering such an insightful program, but also for the work they do all year round. As an aspiring doctor, these are life lessons I will take away with me, so a big thank you.